Welcome to the live technical analysis on the euro dollar, pound dollar, part of the live daily analysis with Elite Currency. First of all, though, please pause the video to read this entire risk disclaimer by continuing watching this video. You are aware of the risk involved when trading for exchange. All right, this is the last day of February. So folks, be careful because the last day of the month is always a bit more risky. Positions are closed to take profit to show uh, you know, the, the profit and losses uh, during a month. So, you know, this is some kind of a tricky day and uh, therefore be cautious with trading. Your dollar is at this moment above the weekly pivot point and you can see that basically uh, it broke through support like this in this downtrend. It already broke through, of course, support and made a good downtrend here. So there's a good chance that there could be a continuation of that downtrend. But for the moment, I'm more bullish actually. Like I explained last week when looking at the four hour chart, I'm expecting a correction of this first push down towards, for instance, the 107, 10750 area. I could put it easily a fib from top to bottom here, and any of these fibs could be a, a stopping spot. Price yesterday hit the 38.2 fib. That itself is already a key level, and there was an R1 and a long term moving average, and that's logical that it stopped there and made a bounce. But I don't think that that is necessarily has to be the turning spot. I think there could be a bit deeper pullback up to, for instance, the 61.8 FIB, whereas the R2 and the 107 level, or even the R3 and the 78.6 FIB at 107.50. What it cannot do, otherwise my analysis is invalidated, is break above this top, where I have the blue circle at 108.295, let's say 108.30 to make it simple. If it breaks above that, then this bearish scenario that I'm expecting, right, a bounce in this area for downside, is out of the window and I have to reanalyze it and uh, perhaps there's going to be a bigger consolidation on the daily and weekly charts. As long as price stays below 108.30, I am in the intermediate term bearish and I'm expecting price to respect one of these fibs and move lower down to retest the bottom. We can zoom out again to retest this bottom here uh, first at the target at 104, right? and then to test this bottom at 103.50, and if it breaks that bottom, to go down maybe to 102.50, and then perhaps even down to parity, and perhaps even break below parity, right, step by step. But for that to happen, it needs to not break this top, it needs to break this bottom at 105 support level, and then there could be a breakout to the downside here, 105 down to 104, and then 104 down to the bottom, and then perhaps lower, right, step by step. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, yeah, so either it breaks below the bottom. If it doesn't break below the bottom soon, it could still actually move up. Then I'm expecting resistance at 107 and resistance at 107.50 for a turn. Alternatively, if it breaks this channel and breaks the weekly pivot point, there could be a challenge of 105. So there could be space in here below the pivot point down to S1 and the bottom. If it breaks the bottom in S1 down to the S2 and the minus 272 target, if it breaks the minus 272 target, then down to the bottom, if it breaks the bottom, etc., as, as you know, further and further. Uh, for the moment, I'm not expecting a break of this channel, and I'm not expecting a break of the, the weekly pivot point. I'm expecting a bounce, and I'm expecting it to, to rally up to R2, and perhaps R3 in the 78.6 fib, stopping at one of these two, or both, but turning eventually at one of them for a bigger downside. Looking at the hourly, this is the channel. Last week, I talked about the fact that this particular swing high, swing low, will be completed soon and there will be a retracement and I expect that retracement to bounce and rally. Partly that has already happened actually, uh, indeed hitting the 50 fib, the purple 50 fib as you can see and moving up. Uh, so that is true, but I expect more. I expect one more push. So this first push already checks the box, but I expect actually one more and you can see the price bouncing at the bottom of the channel and uh, making a rally. I think that maybe there could be some consolidation here first. Otherwise, of course, there could be some pause as price re retests these resistance levels, especially around 106, 106.25. There could be some pause. There is resistance. Price could move up like that, make some bull flag. So I think good to keep an eye on are some bull flags like here. It could happen here or at resistance. A break of those flags could be good for follow through uh, up to 106.50 and then 107 and then perhaps 107.50. Now, last but not least, I do want to clarify that, you know, this is a pretty strong retracement as well. So there is a chance that price might break through this uh, channel. I'm, I will keep an eye on that. 
I would like in that case to see uh, a good hourly candle break through the through that uh, channel in fact preferably even probably through the pivot point in fact eventually wait for some kind of bull a bear flag correction excuse me and I'll look for continuation that would be the alternative uh, if I see any signs of a bounce in here as it potentially retraces uh, I will be looking for bullish candlestick patterns uh, in this zone either at the trend line or at uh, 105 75 106 uh, no we're actually we're at 106 but you know 105 75 anywhere between here and uh, and the fractal for a bounce as a continuation or perhaps even as a breakout if it makes some kind of pattern like this the pound USD is really going sideways look at those moving averages crossing each other constantly this is chop territory this is very very um, dangerous territory because of that because this is basically uh, a period of time where price is really not knowing where it wants to go it tries to break to the upside but then smashes back down uh, ultimately though I do think there's a good chance of a, of a bearish break we had a bullish attempt and it did break nicely for a few uh, hundred or so pips but then ultimately didn't have enough energy to continue now I think that price could be ready for a bearish break it actually depending on how you draw the trend line kind of broke a bit already but with wicks so I think break below the S1 and there could be a intra-week potential to fall down to the S2 and S3 and, and hit these Fibonacci targets as well until that happens I think that there could be a correction that's what I said um, yesterday with my Admiral Markets video as well and there are five waves here and there was a correction to the 50 fib and weekly pivot point that could be it that could be all the correction that we see and price breaks the S1 breaks the trend lines and falls or alternatively there could be a deeper correction to one of these fibs so I'm still keeping an eye on both uh, scenarios I think that uh, both are equally likely I don't have a preference I just keep an eye I would like to see a four hour uh, basically a four hour candle break through the S1 and close near the low with a decent size uh, size candle with about 50 75 pips and uh, then I'll look for a retracement for follow through to the downside that's a good bearish breakout candle if I see bullish four hour candles here then I think that there could be or candlestick pattern then there could be a bigger retracement up to those higher fibs and in that case if there is a bounce here I would expect a bounce here for more downside without breaking this top at 125.69 at the moment there are five this is the sixth candle so it is a good chance from that perspective from a time factor perspective there is a good chance that this swing high swing low is over and there could be a bigger correction uh, that takes price to the higher fibs but let's see this particular candle that fails or the next one and there's then a bullish engulfing twin down in here down at 124 I think a bullish bounce back to 125 125 25 is is a bit more likely there would be then I think a turn at these fibs and a push down to 122 50. for more videos don't forget to join our YouTube channel right here this is our name Thanks for listening and wish you all great trading. Cheers.